yourself moving in the morning. My goodness, you guys are getting heavy, aren't you? Hi guys and welcome Hi. back to another weekend vlog. Have we just been dancing? Yeah. How good was our dancing if you had to score out of 10? How good? You just hop on one feet to win. That's it, and we were so good, weren't we? Can I see your dancing, Charlie? You do your dancing. Let's see, where's your dancing? No, are you tired? Time for Charlie to go for a nap. Yeah. What do you think? No, again, again, again. Again, again, again. Why should we put on your neck? Oh, let's see, what am I to help you? What do you think about it? I like it. Do you think it looks good? No, we need to put on your head. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Sally, I think mommy should just stick to the hairdo. What do you think? Um. Yeah. Mommy, yeah. Mommy. Do you like your bike or your scooter better? My bike. You have to cycle like. Legs in a circle? Yeah. It's like a unicorn bike. A unicorn? Mm hmm. So we have just come in from the freezing cold. How cold is it outside? So cold. <laughs> it was so chittery cold. I think we should get you a wee hot chocolate. What do you think? Yes. Hey, I'm going to make a cup of tea. Ella's going to have a wee hot chocolate and we're going to defrost. Yes. Charlie's up you. having a nap just now, so we're just going to play with your little wells, aren't we? Yeah. we we'll put them in this new big box. So you'll we'll get so many of them, so they're in here. Um, we're trying to put them all back into their right outfits, but it's hard because you keep losing bits, don't you? Yeah. I heard a really good tip, by the way, if people have got like doublers or duplicates, as they call them. Ella, what's a duplicate? A duplicate is when you're in the world, so you must put them in the box. A duplicate is that when they're like the same? Yeah. When they're twinsies? Yeah. So if you have duplicates, you can go into Facebook pages that do like swap shops. Um, and you can just basically go in and say like, I don't know, like, I've got three sleepy bones, does anyone want to swap me? Um, and you can just swap LOLs, which is such a cool idea. I don't want to swap my, my two um, like we big new wheel balls. Okay, you like having duplicates, don't you? Yeah, I like having duplicates. Yeah, I know some people don't really like it though, so um, I love this one. What's her name? Um, I don't know. It's not Glamstron, not. What's her name again? Cyberbot or something? Don't know, but I like her. We're actually not very good at all the, the glitter series ones, aren't we not? We need to find out what all their names are. Should mommy get a wee She's called up? Rocker. She's called Rocker. Rocker, baby. I know I know that girl because she's in Cookie Swirl C. So that's why I know her. Right. She's in Cookie Swirl C, is she? Yes. You love watching that, don't you? Yeah. Water in her. Ugh, yucky. That's awful. Because <laughs> she's a colour senior, that's why she spits. Oh, really? Because she has a. What's that on your top? How did you manage to get that's Weetabix? You didn't even have Weetabix, you had toast or something, didn't you? No, I didn't have a sandwich. So you did just a sandwich, that's right. <laughs> So with it being Charlie's birthday on Monday, we're planning on kind of having a weekend of sort of like nice family activities. So on Sunday I've got all the family coming round for a wee party and stuff and like exchange presents and do a cake and everything. And then tonight what we're trying to do is maybe organise a little cinema trip. But I think it's all going to be depending on how Charlie feels when he wakes up because he's never been to the cinema before. So that could be an experience that could help. What is your favourite thing you've seen in the cinema? Um, let me just think. The Grinch. The Grinch? Did you like seeing that in the cinema? Yeah. And what else do you like seeing in the cinema? Um, I just like um, seeing... I like seeing... Um, what did you go and see with Jack? Um, I just think... Um, is, it, is it just like... Um, the, what was the lady's name again? Mary? Mary... Um, Mary and the Beast. Mary and the Beast? Yeah. <laughs> no. Mary Poppins. No. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. It's called Mary Poppins. Did you go and see that with Nana and Jack? And what was your favourite part about Mary Poppins? What did you like that she did? She flies in the air. Flying in the air with the balloons? Yeah. Yeah. Why did they fly in the air? Because they were? Good. Good, that is right. <laughs> but the naughty guy did, he just floated down, boom. Show me what he did. Boom. <laughs> just asleep. <laughs> boom, like that. Why did that happen to him? Because he was a naughty guy. Was he? 
Yes. Would that happen to you, do you think? Nope. What would happen to you? I will fly in the air. Do you think so? Yeah. And what about me? You'll fly in the air too. Will you hold my hand? Because I'll be a bit scared. Yes. <laughs> we will hold two hands. Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody? So obviously it's Charlie's birthday on Monday. What did you get Charlie for his birthday? A school bus. A school bus. That is such a nice idea, Ella. You need to get my birthday card and write it out. You've not picked my card yet. We need to go and get my card, sure will. Yes. For now, we are diving into this box of um, LOL surprise. And what's your outfit? Let me see. Oh, look at her. What's her name again? Sugar. Do you remember at nursery you actually asked for sugar on your Santa list? Yeah. Remember you wrote a list of Santa and it had a picture of sugar on it? And you got her? How lucky? Yes, and I got her. Mm-hmm. How does Santa um, know what I want to have? Huh? Why does Santa know what I want to have? Because you sent him a letter and because he is. Magical. Yes. <laughs> Wowee. Let me see this girl. Are you Ariel? Are you the real Ariel? Oh wow. <laughs> so graceful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ariel's weave's falling out. That's okay. Put on. Shh, 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 quick, 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 before people realise you're just there. Oh, it's okay, it's Ariel. There we go. No way? Mm hmm. Um, what do you call the wee men again? What are the wee men called? The high hoes. The high hoes? Where are they? They're, um, clean the washes. Huh? The dishes. They clean the dishes. They clean the dishes? Yeah. What did you just do to um, that daddy over there? What did you just do? The little thing with the dress? Ooh. <laughs> And what's that called? A curtsy. A curtsy, which is very nice. Like your shoes. Um, the high holes um, are clean the dishes. Where's Ella? Um, um, she's just at the walk. At the walk, is she? Uh, with the high holes, because oh, they've finished their dishes. Alright, oh, and <laughs> where are they going? Um, they're going to London. Going <laughs> to London? <laughs> are they? Why are they going to London? Because they've... Because they've got nursery. Oh, did they go to nursery in London? Yeah. Really? Oh wow, that's quite far. Who's your favourite high hole? Richard? Who's your favourite high hole? What one? The one with the hat on. The do they one? not all wear hats? Mm, mm. I don't know. They do? All the little hats on? So which one do you like? And the one that's funny is just stick in the door and put the key out. Then pull the door out. How dopey? Yeah, dopey. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I'm just Snow White and I and I ha and I go at the stepmother's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love, love the stepmother. Who's your stepmother? She's at home. Mm. She doesn't like me. Oh, that's nasty, isn't it? Yes. And she doesn't like me and she gave me a cup of tea with spiders in it. What did she? Yeah. And what did you do? She's shouting for me. She's shouting for you right now? Yeah. And what's she saying? She said, come here. Okay. I think there's a, a, a kind of future in the performing arts for Ella. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> These are my babies. They're going to grow up just like me. They're going to grow up. Like, like another Snow White. Are they? Yeah. Do they? Co what are your baby's names? Called Rose. Rose? Rose? No, Flower. Flower? Yeah. Okay, Flower and... Isn't it? No! <laughs> Flower and... Um, what was another one, Rose? Really? I don't know, okay, it's your baby. You your what kind of mother are you? Can't even remember your baby's name. Um, um, flower. She's called Flower, and she's called another Flower. They're both called Flower. <laughs> another Flower. Flower and another Flower. Yeah. Oh, another Flower. Another Flower sounds lovely. 
Um, are they sleeping just now because they're tired? Are they boys and or the girls or the boy and girl? Or? There's a girl and a girl. You can be the high hole for me. Oh, thank you so much. What can daddy be? <laughs> um, he can be the um, dopey. Right. <laughs> You can be dopey because he's a boy to me too. Oh, is that the reason why? Because he's <laughs> a boy? Nothing else? No. No, not because he's silly. You're, because you're silly. I'm not silly. You sure are because you're silly and not standing on, um, not standing on the lines. So that's why... What, yesterday when we were walking? Yeah. Did Daddy keep standing on the lines? Dad, yeah. <laughs> so that's why you're dopey today. Okay, I'm dopey. <laughs> <laughs> You're too funny. Oh my goodness. I have superpowers. Why do you have superpowers? Because I'm, P I'm on the PG mask. Are you? And what did you just do? I, I did superpowers. To do what to the room? To tidy it up. <sighs> that was amazing. High five, cat boy. Um, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> and then a one. Pew. Pew. Hi. I'll do super and give you super pearls. Okay. Pew. That's the best one. Let me do one more. Hiya. 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 Oh, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Again. Again. Hmm. Moving night. Mm -hmm. You just watching Peppa and sharing some breakfast? <laughs> Good impression. <laughs> We've not watched Peppa for a while, have we? Can you actually believe that that is still going strong from like two weeks ago when it was Fraser's birthday? Mental, isn't it? It's like proper still full. It's hardly even I'm going to say this and it's going to collapse by tomorrow but I've just kept that up <laughs> because I've attached it to our alarm system and then to that pole. So I've just playing a left it because it's Charlie's birthday on Monday. Charlie, are you going to be two? Big two year old Monday? Can you believe it? Bye bye. You're needing a haircut aren't you? You get your wee birthday haircut. And Elsa Pell, you're ready for dancing today aren't you? What are you going to learn today, do you think? I don't know. How about the one where you pull your leg up? Yeah. What's that one called? Let's see. Whoa. Kick, okay, you're doing it too. <laughs> well, I'm looking a bit of a mess because I ain't ready yet, but the kids got up so far early this morning. In fact, Ella was in my room for like. I think it was half five or something. Um, and Charlie woke up because he's wet right through his bed. So I've got like all the beds stripped um, and I'm just currently getting them fed and I'm going to get ready. Ella's going to dance and so I'll be picking her up from there. But I've had a bit of a nail disaster so I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to get them shorter and then also like um, a lighter colour. I did like having them vibrant but I think it's more like it's easier to match stuff in with your nails if you're going for something neutral so I'm going to go nude again. I'm going to get ready because I'm running a wee bit late and I'll see you at the nail salon. Red. 
Your banana, you get a nice big lump of it there. Great. I'll fight. Surprise it. Shall I do sad face? <laughs> <laughs> do happy day. Right, so that's us back from flip out and from our meal out. And then we went to the shops afterwards because we had to get things for tomorrow, just like nibbles, just um, a couple of little prizes for little games that I want to play with the kids. And also ingredients to get Charlie's cake made. So me and Ella are going to make a sat on that tonight. I'll show you a picture of like the idea I'm going for because I just feel like hopefully if it's good it'll be amazing, but if not it'll be like a Pinterest versus reality moment. But this is the idea that I'm going for. It's basically like a kind of dinosaur theme. So I couldn't get those chocolate wafers, which is so annoying, but I ended up getting, um, what are they again? Cadbury's white chocolate fingers. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to do a similar thing around the outside. And then I've also got um, green food colouring for making the icing, also blue, blue food colouring. And then I've got some little figures that I got from Poundland to put on the top. And I just hope that it kind of like ends up looking somewhere like that because I think that would be amazing. I think that'd be really good and he would really enjoy something like that. So fingers crossed that's what it ends up looking like. But what I did get was a few like books and stuff because I was going to do party bags. But I just feel like I keep hearing horror stories about items from party bags just being so unsafe. So instead, I thought we'd opt for some nice books. So I've got this one for Nora, which is a What's That Sound book. And I thought it was just nice, all the colours are lovely, so you can go through like all the animal sounds. And then for Charlie, I got him this one, which is Three Little Pigs. Um, I just thought it'd be nice, of, even though he's having his birthday, just to get him a little book to put in with his stuff. And then I also got two of these because I thought these were like so lovely. But these books by um, like Disney, the Christopher Robin, a boy, a bear, and a balloon books. I just think they're lovely, and the illustration on it and stuff is just really nice. So yeah, that's the book there. So I got these ones for Oliver and Big Thomas, and then for Jack, I got him this one, which is actually like a hardback book. Um, I think it looks really good. It's called The King of Space, and I think he'll be able to like read this fine on his own so yes i think he'll like that it's all about like space and stuff and about a wee guy and monsters and whatever but i thought it was good just considering it's proper like a hardback book um, and then we've got some birthday cards you picked this for charlie didn't you yeah why did you pick him that one because it says brother does it yeah good stuff it's the all of the stuff and then you got this little one didn't you this little book yeah which is really nice to see Sophia the first royal mouse in the house book. So we'll be reading that later, no doubt. So then over here, I've also got some balloons. And we're also going to play like pass the parcel, but because the smaller kids will be too young for like Maltesers or whatever we're doing as a prize, I thought it'd be good to just like substitute it in for these little bath toys. So I've got the farm animal ones, and then we've also got like fish and stars and duckies. Uh huh. 
Airplane. Are you going to have a party? Are you ready to make a cake with me? Um, We're going to do a dinosaur one, aren't we? Yes. Dinosaur cake for your brother? But I think it looks pretty decent. So I've just used like little Cadbury's fingers going around here as if it's sort of like, I don't even know really, just like a kind of rocky edge, I suppose. And then around here, I've got like crushed up um, Oreos mixed in with some like salted caramel icing. And then I've just put like little fudge bits as if it's little rocks. And I've also got little mini eggs here to look like. Dinosaur eggs, and then I've put in my little Poundland dinosaurs on as well, which obviously you can't eat, so they'll need to be taken out when we're cutting it and stuff. And then in the middle, I've got one single candle, just I think this is probably easier <laughs> and safer to put on rather than having loads of candles just with all the bits of plastic and whatever. But I'm pleased at how this turned out. I ended up using two of my cakes, and um, but what I did with the other one is when I put it on top, I actually halved it and put like a semicircle of it at the back. And then the other half, I then like halved again and just like kind of built it down, if that makes sense. Um, and then I've just kind of like made a little river going down and just a sort of like dinosaur's habitat, I suppose. But I've just given it a little spray with like gold luster spray just to give it a sort of shine. And I really love the way it's made the water look. It actually looks really glossy. Um, but yeah, delighted with that. I'm going to put it away somewhere that it will be safe out of children's reach until the party tomorrow but um, I need to clean which is very annoying and I've got no hot water and this is one of the issues with buying a house now is because they want to make it so eco-friendly and like energy efficient that it gets to the point where it's just inconvenient because you can't have a bath and then someone else go for a shower and then wash your dishes because by that point all your hot water's gone. So I've resorted to actually boiling my kettle <laughs> to steep this but um, I need to speak to the builders because that is so annoying that it keeps happening and our neighbours have said the same thing as well so that is not good but time to grab my cloth and give the place a clean down. I've got some stuff set up over there for tomorrow. I've also got a couple of banners to put up. And then in here, we've set up Charlie's presents. So I need to wrap them. I've got my paper there ready to wrap and also wrap the parcel, pass the parcel. I can never say that. Um, so we've got my balance bike. This was from Smith's. Um, and it was, I think, about £30. But I think it's just such a good idea. He loves bikes. He loves cars and motorbikes. And he's really into all that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd be quite a good idea just to get him on a balance bike and see how he gets on. He will see Ella on her bike as well, so I'm hoping that that will encourage him to use this. But I thought it was cool because it's all black as well. So yeah, I got him that. And then we got him this little ice water mini scooter. And at first, Fraser was like, this doesn't steer. It only goes in straight lines. But when you lean at each side, that's how you make it turn, if that makes sense. So when you lean this side, the wheel starts turning, which is pretty cool. In that box we've got some Play-Doh, it's actually like a builder's Play-Doh, so it's got tractors and forklifts and all this kind of stuff, so that is in that box. And then I've got my book there, it's the Three Little Pigs book, and then Ella really wants to get him a school bus, so we ended up getting this one by VTech, um, and I'm going to wrap that up as well, but the other two I'm just going to keep with their bows on them. And I'll wrap up the pass the parcel presents as well, and then I'll get to bed because it is nearly one in the morning, and I just want to be done now. Okay. Go, go. Sit with you, mommy, on the floor. Oh, what's this? Ready? Look what's in here. Fly <gasps> shark. Uh oh. Fly shark. It's a bus. It's a bus, Charlie. School bus. School bus. Mommy, school bus. School bus. Say thank you, Ella.
Say happy birthday. And the bus. Say happy birthday, Charlie. Look, Charlie, yeah. where's your look, motorbike, motorbike, bike, bike, bike. Uh oh, Dad. Daddy open. Do open. Good choice. Did you like it? Bus. 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 On. Shall I go on it? Yay! Yay, Yay Charlie! Dumper chuck, that's right. Mommy. Thank you. Charlie. Like it. Good morning, guys. It's the day of Charlie's party. It's 20 past 12, and everyone's coming at one, and I haven't even had a shower, so I'm struggling to get ready. But the place is all tidy. I've cleaned the three bathrooms this morning and um, both kids are ready so that is something at least the Fraser's taking Charlie to the shop because we need to get more juice and also some crisps because we might have had some last night um, and I'm just struggling to find an outfit I don't really know what to wear today I did sort out my wardrobe the other day I do like to have it in like either order of like dresses, tops etc or in colour order but just now it's just a bit of a mess it's all just a pure free for all I don't know whether to wear a dress or not I mean I'm just checking the legs <laughs> Um, probably not. I think I'll wear trousers and I'll definitely need to tan my ankles. Does anyone else do that when they need to wear trousers with their ankle out? Just tan the ankle. Um, I've also got skirts though. <coughs> oh, bless me. And like wee shoes and stuff. So maybe I could even wear my tartan trousers with um, my tartan trousers and a pole neck maybe. Or perhaps... I just feel like everything good that I've got, like kind of dressier, I've already worn. And then it no longer has that kind of like special thing attached, you know. Um, possibly wear this wee top. That's a nice one. Could wear that wee top with which bottoms. Oh, I'm just struggling for like actual things that go together. Right, so I am ready now. It is four minutes past one and I've already got people here. My gran, my aunt Leslie, my uncle Peter and my grandpa are all here. So I'm going to head downstairs and get the food started and enjoy the day. You love this song? You make yourself happy! Yes, sick! Yeah. You on your bike? Uh, what have you got, Pakora? Hooray! 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 Where's the food? Whoa. What's that, Charlie? Look, Charlie. There's a picture there. Oh, What's that? Whoa! Motorbike! Good boy! Come on, Jack! And stop! I'll help judge! Oh, Charlie's moving! Right, keep going then! I'll help judge! Nora did a good job! Charlie, we do your dance? Woo! Woo! It's just empty! <laughs> Take a bit off. This is um, this is not going to end well when there's only like, a winner and a loser. Laura, <laughs> Laura. Oh, oh, who do you think it was? That was Jack's turn to open it. There we go. Ah, ah, have one. Ah, Jim, can I have one? Can I have one? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Don't look. 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 Don't look.
candle. Yay! 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 Babes. How much does he gain like to stone as soon as you put the camera on his face? <laughs> Got a bit of role play going on here. So Ella's the child, Oliver's the mummy, and Charlie's the daddy. And they're sitting down <laughs> ready for the book to be read. Oliver, are you going to read the book? Yeah. Well, where's my bed? I need to get my bed. Careful. <laughs> Everyone has gone now and everyone else is in bed, i.e. the kids and Fra are all in bed <sighs> and I have stayed up not that late, it's, you know, it's, one, it's 11 o'clock <laughs> but I did stay up until maybe 10 here editing a video of all of Charlie's moments from birth right up until now and honestly I am an emotional wreck because I just cannot believe that my youngest is going to be two. It just goes in too quickly and before they really know it they'll be at school and I'll have lost them properly, that's what it feels like. So yeah, I am not looking forward to that and I also don't want to be wishing the rest of their life away. But it just really makes me realise how much they've come on in the last two years. Even the videos of Ella I've seen in the background, I'm like, the last year she was talking like a baby and this year she is just a full-blown girl, no toddler. She is, like, she could be ready for school this year. There's so many girls that are a few months older than her that are starting this August and I really don't think she would be out of place in six months time at a primary one class. I really don't, which is scary to think that, but yeah. Absolutely crazy, and I just cannot believe he's going to be two. So, yes, I'm a bit, a bit of an emotional wreck, as you can see. But I'm going to go and take my makeup off and jump into bed because Ella's in there. I need to take her to bed tomorrow to get dry cleaned, and um, because we can't fit it in our like washing machine, so I need to do that. So until then, she can just jump in with us and have a cuddle. But yeah, if there's ever a reminder to cherish the young years with your kids even though it's really really hard sometimes and don't sleep and they sometimes don't eat the right stuff and there's tantrums and everything these years are so short lived and I'm going to start crying <laughs> they're so short lived and we just need to really really enjoy them and that's all I'm going to say because I'm tired and delirious and very emotional it seems so I'm going to go just now and I'll see you in the morning so we can say our happy birthdays to Charlie before I actually cry real tears. <laughs> happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to Charlie, happy birthday to you. This dog. It's stuck. You went out. It's up. Happy birthday. Happy baby. Hey, Google. Is it Charlie's birthday today? Happy birthday yeah. to your brother. Happy birthday, brother. Is he here? You saying good morning to Miss Nora. Say good morning. <laughs> Charlie, say good morning, Nora. <laughs> good boy. Nora's, is Nora two now? No, she's still one. Did you show Nora your glitter on your face? Let's see. Nora! <laughs> 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 